You can make this much money if Ripple XRP wins SEC lawsuit. U.S. Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Eleanor Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. In a recent tweet, Vitalik Buterin claims that XRP, the sixth largest cryptocurrency, lost its right to protection after Ripple accused Ethereum of being controlled by China. At the same time, the Ethereum co-founder said that he is glad that people are opposed to the rules that give priority to Ethereum over other legitimate cryptocurrencies. His comment came in response to a tweet by Newton and Bidby, two cryptocurrency exchanges in Ontario, Canada, which have set an annual purchase limit of 30,000 Canadian dollars for all available cryptocurrencies except Bitcoin, Ethereum and several other altcoins. If they had restricted XRP, I wouldn't have said anything, joked Bankless Co. founder David Hoffman. Back in December 2020, Buterin criticized Ripple for having descended to a new level of strangeness, trying to designate Bitcoin and Ethereum as controlled by China, only because this country accounts for most of the global hash rate. In April 2020, Ripple co-founder Chris Larson wrote an article claiming that Bitcoin could potentially be destroyed by the Chinese Communist Party. It is worth noting that the United States is currently the largest Bitcoin mining center. Buterin's latest comment against XRP drew sharp criticism from the token community, including its influential members. Ripple CTO David Schwartz accused the Ethereum community of trying to force the government to punish projects that disagree with his narrative. The architect of the XRP ledger believes that it is absolutely fair to make a comparison between miners in health check systems and shareholders of companies. Lawyer John Deaton, who represents XRP owners in the lawsuit, also criticized Buterin, arguing that the innocent XRP holders have nothing to do with Ripple. Lawyer Jeremy Hogan, quoting Buterin's tweet, compared the statements of the Ethereum founder with the statement of the mafia, emphasizing Buterin's use of the word protection. Glad to see Ethereum people pushing against regulations that privilege ETH over other legitimate cryptocurrencies. I have not dug into the details of what specifically is going on and to what extent it's a governor thing versus a compliance decision of one business, but either way. American Business Magazine Inc. magazine recognized Ripple as one of the fastest growing companies in America. The magazine recently published, the INC. 5000 companies, which includes booming companies and their leaders. Of the 5000 companies marked by Inc. magazine in this year's list, Ripple is in the 2456th position. Before Inc. Magazine published its list, Fortune named Ripple one of the best jobs among medium-sized businesses. The blockchain company has risen to 34th place in this year's list, rising from the previous position in 2021. Fortune identifies the best jobs by collaborating with the global analytical and consulting firm Great Place to Work. Only three cryptocurrency companies were included in the list, Ripple, BlockFi and Distributed Ledger, while one of them topped the list. At the top of Inc. Magazine's list is the fastest growing company in America, crypto lender BlockFi. Although the company is currently restructuring, laying off some employees, it has been growing at a rapid pace. Before the crypto winter, BlockFi grew by 245,616% over the past 12 months and ranked first on Inc. Magazine's list. Recently, FTX, US has agreed to acquire BlockFi for up to $240 million. In 2020, Ripple ranked 123rd among the 5,000 fastest growing companies in America according to Inc. Magazine. The magazine reported that the blockchain company has grown by 3,039% over the past three years and got into the first 200. In December 2019, Ripple's valuation rose to $10 billion. The valuation was made after the company completed a $200 million Series C funding round. After Inc. Magazine placed Ripple in 123rd place, Ripple's network, RippleNet, processed more than 2 billion transactions with a nominal value of $7 billion. Ripple has just published a new report on crypto trends in business.
The report highlights a blockchain-based internet of values that transcends national borders and expands or replaces existing ways of doing business. According to Ripple, blockchain and cryptocurrency technologies, together with central bank digital currencies, CBDC, are expected to have a big impact on institutions. According to the report, by 2025, 76% of the world's financial institutions want to use cryptocurrency, provided that it is allowed by law. Various technologies, such as cryptocurrencies and NFT, are being implemented by enterprises, governments in various ways as new use cases become available. However, given the nascent state of these new technologies and the inability of many to fully understand the possibilities, as well as the lack of clear rules, the crypto industry is having difficulty overcoming these barriers to wider adoption. The Ripple Report pays tribute to NFT for the great consumer interest in cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Although this indicates that the user experience with NFT was not easy due to the infrastructure and design. According to Ripple and, more controversially from the point of view of cryptocurrency, CBDC will contribute to what has been done by cryptocurrencies and stablecoins, and thereby, set in motion the flywheel of the blockchain. However, the following statement in favor of cryptocurrencies does give a bold idea of the impact of tokens. There are hints that financial leaders of both financial institutions and businesses once again see tokens, including cryptocurrency, as an even more powerful force than the underlying blockchain technology that drives them. Following the general schemes of buying and selling tokens at their first launch, Ripple believes that in some cases this gives way to greater complexity and advanced programmability, which is now happening with NFT and CBDC. The widespread use of cryptocurrencies for payments is the most important factor that businesses and financial institutions should consider when deciding whether to include cryptocurrencies in their investment portfolio. The usefulness of cryptocurrencies as a kind of hedging is in second place, and the associated use of cryptocurrencies as an intermediate currency is in third place. Institutions see the greatest value in cryptocurrencies for portfolio management, including hedging, and mainly for payments. 70% of financial institutions surveyed for this study expressed interest in using blockchain technology for various types of payments. The wider use of technologies such as DeFi is still not being explored by most institutions. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.